What's up guys, Rachel Daniels here. I'm here with Kamal El Gargni, 212 Olympian. Today we're going to be working on Kamal's Arnold routine. He's competing in a couple weeks to get his title. Oh, yes. And we've had one practice so far. We've picked our song. We've done about a minute's worth of routine choreography together. We're changing things along the way to fit his physique and his style. Again, this is his routine, so even though I'm helping him make it, he's gonna be the one performing it, so it needs to be his story and his moves and, and obviously poses that complement his physique. So we're here today on our second practice. We're going to review the things we went over yesterday, clean some choreography, make some more changes, get more confident with what we already have, and then if we're in a good spot, we're going to move forward. I'm really happy to work with Rachel because I do see her in like closing routine. She's crazy, she's one of the best. Because if it's not the best, Thank you. I mean, I really like that. So for me, I had a chance, she's here in the gym, we trained here for her, so I said, okay, I'm, I'm going for a, like a new challenge, doing the Open Classic, Arnold, normally I do the 212. Mm -hmm. I said, let's do all good. Yeah. It all looks like great, so that's, what we, that, that's the plan, so let's do it. Yes, Kamal's already an awesome poser, so this time we're just gonna give him that extra, better. yeah, extra yes. arm. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay, so we're walking out, music starts. We're coming out, turning on the left. Correct, helicopter arms down to our kneeling pose. Good. Hands back and then big reach. Back down, yep, perfect. Good. Dropping that right arm, giving that boom chest. Yep, and then we're coming up to this oblique pose. Then we're coming to lunge. So pulling, make sure we don't forget that pull. So give me like a full on that. Yeah, and you can turn these if you want, either way. This way or this way. Yeah, I like that better. And then you're gonna come to the other, yes, <clears throat> to the front double. Good. And from here, remember we're gonna open this, come to the side. We're really gonna pretend there's an air behind our head. We're pulling it out, giving that to them. Let yourself drop and get really small before that next pose, and then come back at it. Yep, keep this bent. Extend, up, 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 there. Okay, so then we said arms come down Correct, to that side chest. And then I think we did, you did one more, and then I think you did one of these to finish, right? Okay, so here, and then we're coming to the other chest pose, and then you're coming to your Arnold pose. Okay, that's easy, so you just stand right up and come into the, I suck at that pose. So this is like totally okay just for everyone watching. You know, we make a routine and I have something in my head and then, you know, this is really cool when we get to work together because we get to implant ideas and take certain things out and it just gets better and better and better. So yeah, it's- After what we did uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. um, I was going home, I was thinking like, uh, what's, what's, what? So mm -hmm. this one I brought this one. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. I'm, I, I want to see it be the best it can be. Okay, so from there, that's when the music kind of calms down from the like opera stuff and the beat changes and it's just kind of like, you hear a big like meow, it's like that big hit. So this is when we're gonna start hitting like more power poses. You can go from here. I was gonna have you turn into a most muscular. Yeah, because I have a really, you know, my, my statue pose, mm -hmm. which is that one. Everybody knows that's my pose. Okay, and you can hold those for a little bit and like let's hold them and let them see. You know, because we've been moving around a lot. That's really cool and pretty, but now it's like, here I am, look at my physique, bro. Like, I look fucking nuts. So we're coming into most muscular. And let's hit all those, you, you hear it in the music where it's like, dun, then it kind of pulls back, comes again, it's like, dun, pulls back. So those ones are the ones we should hit each pose on. So first, boom. Second one, you can kind of, when the music's like tapering up, you can be bringing your arm up and then, on that beat, arrive. Bah. Yes. 
Okay, so where do we want to go from here? Bah, so that would be the same one. Boom. Side chest. And then again. Boom. Tricep. Boom. And that should be enough. Yeah. Until, and well, by that point, the back. I like becoming small if you're about to get really big. Yeah. So you can kneel. Yep, and then you'll hear it, it like almost goes to no music and then out of nowhere it's just big. So I would come big into that back double, boom, and then we're, hold, we're gonna hold that and let them see it. And then the second one's gonna be lat spread, perfect, perfect. Just money shots, boom, 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 boom. We can go down if you want, or we can just stay up here. And then I think eventually we need to come back to the front and finish here somehow. Yeah. So take your time there. Yeah, I would definitely take your time there. Hold that for a little bit and just let them see you, you know? Take your time, bring that arm up, and then, mm-mm, okay? And then we're going, we said we're going from here to side chest. So you kind of do this first, right? Boom, side chest. Give them that. Tricep, boom, okay. And then we're down. Might look a little more epic if instead of coming here, you're coming kind of one of, you know, out. Yeah. So we're seeing all from the back because from the back, if my arms are going straight up, it's, I just kind of look small, but you know, a big, almost like you're coming to one of these, but then we're hitting our back double bicep. So maybe a big reach up, back double bicep, let them hold, hold that for a while. And then it's gonna be, what do you wanna do? <laughs> what do you wanna do? <laughs> um, we can go to lat spread, or we can do another one up here first. Might be, be yeah, it might be better since we're already up here to just come up to another one. Take your time on those transitions. Boom. Same with this, and then give them like a little on the hit. So we did back double, this one. We did this one, right? You like that one? Okay. And then lat spread. Okay. We like that. Do you wanna do like, a, a, like stuff with your arms before you get here? Circles, if you can. And then I think we should do maybe one more before we go to the floor. You could do, you could do like one of those, like a half lat spread, half arm up, or you can do a, like a crucifix, a back crucifix. You can do a back victory pose. We already did this. I think we need one more before we go to the floor. Because after the lat spread, this one's kind of long, just being here. I think it's good. I mean, we've got almost all of it done in two days. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the music, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I'm not worried about the memorization. I'm not worried about any of it, but I, I mean, the memorizing the moves. We're not beginners here, so the, it's gonna be the musicality and the tempo and the rhythm and the, yeah, the umph, the charisma, as Lee Labrada would call it. So, uh, like I said, we'll get that. So next time we'll, we'll finish. Yeah. You'll practice what we did yesterday and today. Get familiar with the music, very familiar. And then once we have the whole thing, it's just gonna be run it, run it, run it. It's an illusion, ultimately. So, I mean, you can, you can hide things, you can accentuate things, and if, even though posing isn't judged, if the person, your, your physique is judged and you show it by your posing, and if someone next to you it really has that down and they can make themselves look better than you with their posing, then it should be an, as important as, you know, your training and your other stuff. For me, it's like, it's like, I don't get to go up on stage and like tell everybody what I went through on my prep and like my whole story and how, you know, the hard times I had and all the work I had to do and how hungry I was. You don't get to go tell everybody that, but you can, you can show them and you can make them feel something and you can do it with your posing. So it's kind of like, 
this is my story, this is what I'm showing you, and... That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Exactly all my prep. Yeah.